Just an hour and a half from the capital city of Ecuador, Quito, is the amazing Ecuadorian countryside. Right now, we are in the Cotopaxi National Park, which is the most visited national park here in Ecuador because it has one of the most famous volcanoes. Cotopaxi is the most active volcano here in Ecuador, and we are spending the next two days in an amazing accommodation right next to the national park in the Ecuadorian countryside and we're doing it with a bit of style. Yeah. <laughs> this is huge, I'm scared. Are you really? This is really big. <laughs> well, the adventure has started. We've been dropped off on the side of the road. In an almost nature park. It, it's so beautiful here. <laughs> So we just drove almost two hours actually it took us to get here uh, from Quito just into the Ecuadorian countryside right next to the Cotopaxi National Park. We're staying with Hacienda Los Motinos and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel out in the countryside which we're really excited for but there's no sign anywhere and we can see it but there's this like very odd driveway. So we asked our driver just to drop us and we're gonna walk and find the way. The adventure is just finding the place. Yeah, it's so beautiful this place. <laughs> it is so nice. After being dropped off, we walked up a path that we thought would lead us to the hotel. But after walking around in circles for about 15 minutes, a local graciously helped us find our way. This is beautiful. Gracias. Okay, we finally found our way into the hotel and we just checked into our room, which we're going to give you a full tour of in just a moment. But Max is hungry, so we've decided to have a good bite to eat and a coffee to warm us up because it's really cold out here in the mountains. It's really cold. But we don't need to worry because I think we're going to be plenty warm enough in our room and we'll show you why in just a moment. He really knows how to make a bio. But what are you eating? Uh, it's a lucre, which is Ecuadorian's one of its national dish. It's just a potato soup and it's got some avocado in there. It isn't just a potato soup. It's potato and cheese. It's delicious. It's perfect. I mean, I haven't shown you the view, but like, I've got a... 180 degrees view. I would see the volcano, there was no clouds, but I got llamas. That's pretty cool. Okay, now let's give you a tour of this amazing accommodation. Welcome to Hacienda Los Motomos. This is a beautiful hotel. It is actually located right next to the Cotopaxi National Park. You're not allowed to have hotels inside the National Park. So this is pretty much as close as you can get. We're right near the north entrance to the park, which is great because it's actually the less used entrance. So you really have so much nature around here without all the traffic that you would normally get inside a National Park. As you can see, the hotel behind us is so beautiful, but let us show you around this beautiful property. <laughs> I didn't want to be too annoying to the staff here, but I really wanted to ring that. As soon as you enter, just to your right is the dining room, the kitchen, the reception. It's a beautiful big communal area, so if there were lots of people staying here, it would be really buzzy and everyone would eat together. There's of course another gorgeous fireplace. And as you saw, there's beautiful windows everywhere where we just ate lunch. So on a clear day, Cotopaxi Volcano is right there. Unfortunately, today's not that day, but hopefully tomorrow. Right this way to our room. So we do have to cross the yard to reach the second building, which we are all for. Whoa. That was a huge thunder. 
Wow, okay, I think there might be a storm brewing. Um, we wanted to go for a little walk, so let's hurry this up. Right this way to our habitation. <laughs> Which room are we in? I don't know how to say it. Kirin All the rooms are named after different volcanoes here. Because Ecuador has like over 90 something volcanoes, which is insane. Oh my gosh. This room is amazing. We have a gigantic bed. Oh, it's actually, oh, it's gonna be cozy. Some, oh, it's huge. We have some thick blankets. We have a beautiful window with a view of Cotopaxi. When it's, <laughs> I think we've said enough. On a clear day, you have a view, you get the picture. Really nice seating area. Another amazing view. Over here on a clear day, you can see Rumbani, I think it's called. Another volcano. And we have our very own fireplace in our room. There's a storm coming. We've got a fireplace. This is gonna be the coziest night ever. And we also have our own private bathroom, which is stunning. I mean, it's a bathroom, so it has all the regular bathroom features, but it has this big, beautiful stone basin, a nice large mirror, all of these just like beautiful stone details that give it that real mountain hut kind of vibe in here. A huge shower with running hot water, which is necessary because if you can't tell, Kind of cold here. You can see horses from the above. Can you? Yeah. Where? I mean, they were there. Over there on that hill. Yeah, yeah I can ah, see yeah. them. They're just further away. And there. Where? <gasps> you can see horses whilst you take a shower. I just love it here. Max and I love coming to places that are like this, where we are like not in the city, we're like out in the nature of the country in like a nice cozy environment but where we can still like go and enjoy the countryside tomorrow we won't be hiking here we're going to be doing something a little bit different that max is a little bit nervous for we're actually going to be going horse riding up through cotopaxi national park and max has never done horse riding before and as much as he doesn't want to admit it he's kind of afraid of horses i'm a horse whisperer I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Really? Yeah, worst case scenario, I just walk right next to them. So come, buddy. <laughs> Stay tuned to see how goofy he is on a horse. <laughs> if there is a, and no other reason to keep watching this video, it's gonna be for that, because it's gonna be funny. And we'll be fine, <laughs> hopefully. But All there's right. llamas as well. Yeah, there's llamas right over there that we can see from our room. So let's go for a little walk and check them out. So if you are on a super budget, but you still want to have an experience out here like this, Los Motimos also have bunk bed style, hostel style room that you can book that's much more affordable, or you can even bring your own tent and camp out here, which is really nice too. If you're like up for a bit more of an adventure, I'm pretty happy with the fireplace room. But, uh, <laughs> bring a big blanket. If, if you want to camp, <laughs> In the cold, I just felt a raindrop. Yeah, but those llamas heard us, so we gotta go and acknowledge them. Oh, we should have bought them a treat. Like what? Like a carrot or something? Oh, I felt a drop on my big cheeks. Hello, guys. So we asked the llamas are purely for us tourists. Yeah. They have no purpose here. They just live in their best life. <gasps> Hello. Are you scaring him? You're coming in too thick. Oh, was that a fart? I thought that was you. No. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this sort of vegetation. It's just so appealing. It's flat in terms of bush. Obviously, it's very hilly, but I don't know. It's just so. Oh, that llama on that hill is just He's glorious. Okay. Oh, yeah, and, then, and this guy is like half painted. Yeah, I know. I like him. 
Oh look, he's scratching, that one's scratching himself. <laughs> There's not that much to do here in the afternoons apart from relax if you're uh, not already out on a tour. And we have our tour planned for tomorrow morning, so we're gonna use this time to chill out, enjoy this beautiful room. I'm gonna whip Max's ass at a board game. <laughs> Somehow, the staff instinctively knew we wanted a cozy evening by the fire and came to our room to light it for us. After a couple of hours of board games, we headed to the dining room for dinner. Gracias. Oh, that looks good. This looks amazing. It smells so good. Really good. Mmm, those carrots are good. They're all good, man. So well seasoned and... Mm and actually it's really amazing food, which is good because it's the only place to eat. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. We had a great night. It was so rocked up, so warm, and then the fire settled, and then it got cold, and then the warm blanket covered us. But yeah, we had a great night. We have an amazing view this morning. We're gonna have a cute little breakfast, and then we are off because we're going horse riding. So yeah, I'm not too sure about this, but hopefully this is gonna be great. Mm, how we just got brought fruit. There's already yogurt and granola, and we're getting eggs. Mm. Time has come. Do you want to put anything in my backpack? It's okay. We're going pony riding. <laughs> <laughs> Chicos, dar un poco de explicación ¿Sí? sobre cómo manejar aquí en el páramo, cómo montamos aquí en el, los chagras aquí en el páramo. ¿Sí? Ok, ¿estás getting it? No, ok. <laughs> Por favor, conmigo. El nombre se llama Diamante. 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 Mine's so much bigger than yours. Oh, Max. These are a proper sized horse. This is huge, I'm scared. Are you really? This is really big. <laughs> We've just met our horses. We've been given a brief instruction in Spanish. <laughs> Max is starting to get nervous. <laughs> I'm happy like this. <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> Okay, I can get off now. <laughs> it's okay, it's just because, see? <laughs> They'll just follow Max. <gasps> this is so beautiful. Look at this view. Are you okay back there? <laughs> this is really funny for me. Because <laughs> Max is normally better than me at pretty much everything. Pardon? Yeah, he's just trying to catch up to the group. Yes. Your horse is pooping. 
my horse's butt. That's so rude. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we just entered the Cotopaxi National Park on horses. Can you believe that? That's an amazing way to view a national park right behind us just over there you can't see it because it's kind of covered in clouds is Cotopaxi volcano which as you saw this morning is super active and it's like puffing smoke so uh max if the volcano erupts i hope you're okay with galloping hells yeah man toss it in the wind <laughs> the confidence to ride with one hand and have the camera in the other it's pretty good wow look at the valley look at this so amazing Woo. <laughs> I don't think there's a better way to spend a Tuesday morning in Ecuador. <laughs> this is so amazing. I'm so grateful to be able to have come here. It's so nice. And Ecuador, we've only been here for a few days, but has honestly really surprised us. We have been loving it here. So highly recommend a visit to Ecuador but also a visit to Cotopaxi. It's amazing. It's just like, I mean, look at this landscape. It's so different. Home sweet home. Time to relax. Oh, it's hard timing a horse. Horse riding was amazing, oh. but also very tiring. Very tiring. Oh my goodness. Smell like that. Chilling afternoon to me. <laughs> oh, look at that firewood. They replenished our firewood. Is there anything better than sitting in front of a fire? Where's the fire? There. Playing board games? Nope. Oh, yeah. Sitting in there with fire next to a volcano. That might be better. Actually, a glass of wine would make this better, but we don't have any, so I'm not gonna go to the kitchen and get some. <laughs> <laughs> right. But this is pretty magical. The view of Cotopaxi has come back this afternoon, which I'm so grateful for, because literally yesterday afternoon, we couldn't see anything. I think we got really lucky with today's weather. I'm gonna whip Max's butt at Rummy, and, uh, Enjoy this cozy fireplace. We'll see about that. <laughs> One zero. I had such bad luck. Oh, you make your luck. Again? Again. Great game. Talk about it. <laughs> All this hole, I'm gonna whip Max's butt. I. <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. Turn the camera off. The vlog is over. The day is done. I'm going to bed. Ugh. I lost so bad.
So unfortunately our time here has come to an end. We're just waiting for our taxi. He should be here any minute. But there is one thing that we forgot to show you. This place actually has a rock climbing wall built on. Which is so cool. Unfortunately, we didn't realize you could use it. Uh, we asked about it this morning and they said, yeah, they have the ropes and everything. They can set it up. So if you do come here, definitely give that a go because that seems like a lot of fun. But our taxi is about to pull up. So we are going to head back to Quito. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you want to stay at Hacienda Los Martinas, we will put a link in the description. Thank you guys. See you Bye -bye. next time. Bye. There's a donkey on the road. Two and two. Oh, two zero two. Yes! Damn it, even with your 11 points? Yeah. Oh no, that sucks. I'm just pretending I'm just... I was posing for you. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Move. Mm -hmm.